The United States is teeming with picturesque roads, some more breathable than others, from the spectacular California coast to the history-lined highways of New England. Take the 469 Blue Ridge Parkway, which offers varying panoramic vistas depending on the season as it meanders past limestone caverns, crystal clear mountain springs, and Appalachian exquisiteness. From Blue Bonnet Trail in Texas to the Pierce Stocking Scenic Drive in Michigan, this video covers 10 of the best road trips in the United States. Hello and welcome back. Sometimes it's not just the natural attractions that are worth the journey, but also the man-made ones. The Willis Tower, also known as the Sears Tower, and previously the highest structure in the world, can be seen to the west as you travel down Chicago's Lakeshore Drive. Additionally, on US-1 from Key Largo to Key West, travelers can hand-feed tarpon and enjoy margaritas at beach bars while listening to Jimmy Buffett songs as they cross the seven-mile bridge over coral reefs and arrive at marinas. And because we love explorations and adventure, journey with us through this list of 10 of the best scenic road trips in America. Number 1. Lakeshore Drive, Chicago Along this urban drive, the rock stars of American architecture are arrayed like soldiers facing Lake Michigan. From the blocky stairway of the Willis Tower, which was originally known as the Sears Tower and was once the highest structure in the world, to the Belle Epoque refinement of Burnham and Roots Rookery, to the austere post Bauhaus blocks of Mies van der Rohe. Chicago's buildings are unquestionably eye-catching. It's without a doubt the world's best road for spotting architecture. Although Lakeshore Drive is only 15 miles long, you should stop at Millennium Park along the way to see the most famous Cloud Gate sculpture, also known as the Bean. Number 2. Route 12, Utah State Route 12 winds its way between Capitol Reef and Bryce Canyon National Parks, displaying Utah's red rock magnificence in all its glory. It requires some dedication to see the high sandstone canyons and bluffs of Purple Sage, to tackle the tight cliff-hanging ridgeline road known as the Hogback around the Midway Mark, and navigate the 124-mile stretches, quirky little villages, and sparse entry and departure options. Get your caffeine fix with a breathtaking view of Escalante Grand Staircase National Monument by visiting the hip, long, and stanzone Kifa Coffee House in Escalante, which is open from Wednesday through Sunday, April through October. Number 3. Blue Bonnet Trail, Texas the southwest region of the United States is home to this spiky blue blue bonnet. During the months of March through May, they are particularly prolific in Texas, where they are recognized state flower. Start your journey in Austin, the location of the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Research Center, so named after the first lady who prioritized enhancing the beauty of the country. After stopping to appreciate the local flower, Continue traveling east on U.S. Route 290. The halfway point between Houston and Austin, Brenham, is where you can see them in all their glory, in addition to seeing them by the side of the road. Make your way to Houston to witness the Blue Bonnets in Bloom in Buffalo Bayou and Herman Parks. After visiting Brenham's official tourism website for the most recent information on where to find the greatest patches behind a Burger King, for instance. Number 4. 17-Mile Drive, California The breathtaking Monterey Peninsula in California is circled by the so-called 17-Mile Drive. The road, which is privately owned by Pebble Beach and connects the cities of Pacific Grove and Carmel, skirts the Pacific Ocean and passes through a gated golf community's portion of the Del Monte Forest. The path offers breathtaking sunset views that make the $11.25 entrance charge worth it. In addition to surf-beaten cliffs, harbor seal colonies, and numerous viewpoint sites. The Monterey Bay Aquarium, not far from the 17-mile drive, features a petting zoo and a million-gallon tank with enormous sharks and sea turtles. 
Number 5. Trail Ridge, Colorado Greetings from the U.S.'s highest continually paved road. Starting at the Beaver Meadows entrance of Rocky Mountain National Park, Timber Ridge Road ascends to a height of 12,183 feet. Elk, deer, and bighorn sheep may be seen above the tree line in this stunning tundra as travelers cross the Continental Divide along a route that Native Americans originally traveled. Grand Lake, Colorado's largest naturally occurring body of water and the location of a historic town and all year long lake sports, may be reached after two to three hours of driving. However, keep in mind that Trail Ridge Road is not a year-round route and can only be traveled during good weather, usually from Memorial Day to Labor Day. Before we continue with the rest of the video, kindly check out and watch the other videos on our channel, subscribe and turn on your notification button to be alerted whenever we upload a new video like this. Number 6. Highway 101, Oregon Oregon's Pacific coastline is wholly owned by the state and accessible to the general public, in contrast to the rest of the West Coast. Road travelers can enjoy completely protected and unspoiled natural landscapes at the 400 or so kilometers of beaches off Highway 101. Approximately an hour's drive separates Port Orford from Brookings, where ferocious sea cliffs contrast with the pastoral farmland and grazing cattle of Oregon's small towns. When you see the side of the road, Tyrannosaurus rex at the prehistoric gardens, where 23 realistic models of dinosaurs are set against the background of a rainforest, stop. Number 7. Let Me Pass, Montana and Idaho At Let Me Pass, which stands 7,325 feet above sea level, Meriwether Lewis first encountered the Rocky Mountain Spine of North America, the Continental Divide. Lewis glanced over the mountains to the west and saw more mountains rather than the legendary Northwest Passage to the Pacific Ocean. Both Beaverhead Rock State Park in Montana and the Salmon Chalice National Forest in Idaho offer single-lane forest service roads where determined tourists with a four-wheel drive can enjoy the historic scenery. The annual Lewis and Clark Festival is held in Great Falls, Montana about three hours from Beaverhead Rock State Park. And for the complete experience, attend in July to watch men traveling on dugout canoes while wearing buckskin clothing. Number 8. Olympic Peninsula Loop, Washington Highway 101 circles around one of the biggest wilderness regions in the continental U.S., serving as the peninsula's only major road and the scenic route. Drive counterclockwise to ascend into the Ho Rain Forest, which is dominated by ancient Sitka spruce and western hemlock from the base of the peninsula. From Hurricane Ridge's summit, 18 miles off the loop from Port Angeles, you can see the San Juan Islands. Olympic beaches have pools at low tide that are teeming with starfish, sand dollars, and crabs. If you need a place to stay, Continue on to Lake Quinault Lodge after making a stop in the eerie logging town of Forks, a must-see for Twilight fans. Without breaks, the entire loop takes roughly six hours. Number 9. Anchorage to Valdez, Alaska The route connecting the Glen and Richardson Highways from Anchorage to Valdez passes via ancient glaciers and through mountain ranges, with so many peaks that many of them are still unnamed. View domesticated musk oxen, the prized wool-producing Ice Age wonders of the Alaskan landscape, along the 300-mile route in Palmer. The Trans-Alaska Pipeline can be seen sporadically as you travel further. The final approach to Valdez entails a 30-mile descent from Thompson Pass, which is 2,678 feet above sea level to sea level through Keystone Canyon's waterfalls, which opens into Prince William Sound. Number 10. Pierce Stocking Scenic Drive, Michigan 
This short and lovely trip down Lake Michigan's eastern side is only 7.4 miles long, yet it showcases the grandeur of the enormous Sleeping Bear Dunes, thick forest canopy, and a freshwater lake so big you won't be able to see the other side. If it weren't for the lookout sites over the lake and sand dunes to divert you, the journey would take you less than 30 minutes. You will traverse a covered bridge that was built from one that Pierce Stocking himself built in the 1960s before the loop is closed. In order to slightly extend the journey, take a five-minute detour up South Dune Highway to see Glen Lake from the summit of the Dune Climb, a sand dune that is thought to be roughly 450 feet tall. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and also share your thoughts or suggestions in the comment section, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!